welcome back to another lippy review so this one i've been meaning to review for probably a year now <laughs> uh first i couldn't find it uh my friend karen was recommending this one to me for the longest time and i honestly i feel bad that i don't remember if she's the one that hooked me up with this or i eventually did track it down after all of her recommending i think she sent it to me though so uh this is the burt's bees berry agua fresca so I have heard so many good things about this. I am finally, finally, finally getting around to doing the thing. I know I am the slowest person on the planet sometimes. Then other times I'm the first one on it. There's like no in between. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead. Break that safety seal on here. I love the color of the cap, by the way. That is so pretty. Like that gorgeous berry color, which first, first word in the name, berry. Gee, I wonder why they use that color. Okay, just morbid curiosity. I must know what it smells like right off of the bat. Ooh, okay. So admittedly, do I know what a berry agua fresca is? I do not. But with my very super limited understanding of Spanish, I think that would be like fresh berry water? Yeah, maybe? Anyone feel free to jump in. <laughs> so anyways, um, format wise, it's just one of the standard sticks. So it's also the standard pricing of like $3.99, I believe, depending where you find it, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, just depends. But when this first came out, I feel like the only places it was showing up was like Walmart and Target. It eventually made it to the website like this year, but it took a while. So anyways, packaging I showed you already. Uh, size is the standard 0.15 ounces. It's not part of a set. It is organic. Um, our ingredients list on this one is sunflower seed oil, coconut oil, beeswax, castor seed oil, flavor lanolin, blackberry fruit extract, raspberry seed, yeah, raspberry seed oil, cocoa seed butter, shea butter, sunflower seed oil, soybean oil, rubaudicide A, tocopherol, citric acid, limonene, and linalool. So, it's organic. <laughs> um, it's Burt's Bees, you know that going in. But anyways, um, it's not limited edition as far as I know. What I am finding interesting is how the sticker on this particular one kind of hangs off the edge of the tube a little tiny bit over the turn wheel. I'm like, oh, I don't usually see that happen with Burt's. Don't know if it's just the tube I have in my hand or if this was a thing with this flavor. I don't know. But anyway, not, it doesn't really matter, but just an observation. Um, no SPF, no special features. So let's talk about what it smells like. It's definitely like a very berry scent, but not like that generic berry that a lot of lip balms use. Like this is very distinctly... Like, I get blackberry more than anything, but definitely also some raspberry in there, too. No, I'm not just going by the ingredients list. I'm going by what I smell. Like, there might even be a hint of cherry in there, even though it's not listed. Don't really pick up on, like, strawberry, though, so that's okay. But yeah, let's try this on. I'm really excited to try this, so let's just do that real quick to see if it gets stronger. No, it stays the same. Okay. Because sometimes when you swatch it, uh, it like releases more scent. Even without licking my lips, I already taste it. And you know what? <laughs> oh, it's the most oddly specific flavor. Who remembers the Flintstones chewable vitamins? It tastes like the pink one. I don't know why. Like, straight up the whole vitamin flavor and everything. It tastes like the pink one. You're welcome. That's exactly what this tastes like. Oh, boy. That was, like, really super vivid flash like that of what it smelled like. I was like, oh, okay. Not what I was expecting, but not bad. It's not a bad uh, not a bad flavor. So, okay. What else? Uh, it's really soft and creamy, which I was surprised that it wasn't even, like, waxy at the start and having to be broken in. It just is, like, soft, soft. Like, Whoa, okay. <laughs> uh, so be gentle with this one. A little teeny tiny touch with it and it might smush. So be careful. <laughs> I found that out the hard way when I barely touched it to my finger to swatch it. I was like, oh shit, that is really soft. I wasn't expecting that. 
that. <laughs> Whoops. But, um, no stickiness at all. It's just really nice and creamy and moisturizing feeling. It feels really nice on. It's got some shine to it. So far, I'm loving everything about this. So I'm going to go ahead and do the drink test. Mmm. Okay. It thinned out some with the water, but not all the way, so I'm gonna dock half a point there. But ultimately, I am gonna go ahead and give it the wow factor. So I think really my only issue was just that little bit of it coming off of the water, whereas other birds don't necessarily do that. Um, and you do smell it while it's on. It's a very nice, sweet scent without being overwhelming. It's really lovely. I see why, why Karen raved about it so hard. I'm like, dang, wish I'd opened that a long time ago like I was supposed to. But, oh god, I am the slowest person, I swear. But anyway, nine and a half out of ten. This is an almost perfect score. Almost perfect. That is... Wow, I might have to get a backup of that one because that one is so nice. Uh, berry scents can be very hit or miss for me. I either like love, love, love them or they're a little too close to the grapey side. I'm like, Ugh. so I'm very glad that this is on the hit side and not the miss side of the line for me. This is, this is really nice. I can see myself using a shit ton of this. So. Anyway, that is it for this one, guys. So as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, till next time. See ya.